hey, so we have this pretty girl spider here. My kids have all learned about Kelpies um, after I went to Scotland and came back telling them horror stories. So they requested a Kelpie section in our haunted trail this year. So Spider, our bestest girl, she's very sweet, is gonna be transformed into a Kelpie. We've got some blue lights. We've got some fake seaweed that's meant for an aquarium. Um, I've got some little elastic bands that you use on horses. Um, and I've got a bubble machine and some netting. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our little piece of um, stone or whatever, and I want to keep that because it kind of looks like it's like a barnacle or something, which doesn't really fit with Kelpies, I don't think, because usually it was like the locks, but we're going to go with it. It'll help hold it on. So what we're going to do, we are going to, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we're not going to put things in our mouth that we shouldn't. Okay. So what we're, I know, pretty girl, she's like, what are you doing to me? So we're going to start just by doing this here and wrapping this around her like little strips of hair. And then we are going to pop this under here. So it's held on. And ideally, I think I'm going to want to try to get that underneath some of her other hair. So it's kind of hidden underneath a little. So what I might do is pull this over and then take this piece here I know you're such a good girl aren't you are you a good oh I know is it weird ah shall we I know your hair's on the wrong side right now isn't it that's annoying okay Take another piece of pretend seaweed. She's like, what are you doing to me, lady? I've had my hair done, but this is just silly. Okay, so that kind of covers it up like that. So we're gonna do a few more of these and um, then I'll get my netting out. For the tail, I found that this was a little too bulky. Uh, it didn't make a difference in the, in the mane for some reason, in the forelock, but these are just kind of hard to cover up with the tail without looking wonky. See what I mean? So you can actually pull this right off and just tie that piece in. And okay, so I bought this netting. It's like a decorative netting and I'm not sure, I haven't opened it yet. Um, to see what it looks like, but we wanna make it look like she got caught in a little fish net or something. So, we're trying to not make her too uncomfortable, huh baby? You're a good girl, aren't you? Just the best baskets of horses. Okay. So, oh, what a pretty girl you are. So I got these bubble makers to review. They have like a little thing of bubbles that you can refill and it goes like this so the plan is to put this on the ground near her so there's bubbles around her so it looks like there's water um, and we have some sparkly blue lights to go with it as well so let's go get started so it's not dark yet but you see our blue lights and we have our bubbles here and we have our horse that's very occupied by eating some grass so she's not going anywhere and you can see we've got our kelp and there we go. Hey, look at the bat. Hi, spider. Pretty girl. And here she is again. I have more information about this project and links to some of the products in the description on the video and also on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. I hope you have a great day and a great Halloween. Take care. Bye.